Hello guys, what's up? This is Speed Sharma and this is the second tutorial of my web development series and today I'm going to teach you how you can build your first website, a single page website. So as I've told you to install an IDE in your PC, if you have installed it, just open the open your IDE in your PC. As I recommend you to work with the Visual Studio code. If you have installed the Visual Studio, then just launch the app. As soon as the app launch, uh, go to the file menu and select the open folder tab and you can select any of the folder which in which you want to save your codes whatever you write are going to save you want uh, are going to save now somewhere so you have to select any folder in which you are going to save this all the stuff so for this i'm choosing the tutorial folder and just after go to the new file and you can name your file here so for this I'm going to name my file as website and I'm going to save this file with .htm or html extension because the extension will only going to tell the browser that the file belongs to a web page. It is a web page. So press enter and you can now see your file is open on the right side of your window. After that let's start with the writing the code. So write htm as you got as you can see uh now you can see the advantage of your id over your simple text editor as many of you are questioning in the group that why not why we, why we are not using the text editor or why we are working with the ides so here is your answer and ides help you to um provide some hints uh, wherever you make an error it will automatically show you the error that error is present in this line and all as now you can see i have use the starting uh, I have already write the starting tag of HTML and ID automatically added the closing tag of HTML which was not done by your sim simple text editor so this is the advantage of your ID over your text editor yeah? I got I think you got my point what I want to tell you uh, after that just write the head tag in the HTML tag and now you can specify the title of your web page by writing the title and you can name your specify any title which you want to display over your web page so for this i'm going to write this is my first website and now i'm going to launch it with the open server live server sorry open with the live server let's see what the output is uh, now you can see my web page title goes changed to this is the, my first website so let's move on and start as many of you have seen when whenever you open a website you may find a uh, lot of images article paragraphs headings and a lot of stuff over a website so all the stuff has been coded within the body tag which would be written like this after the uh, when you, uh, after the closing of the head tag you have to write the body tag and in between the body tag you can write anything whatever you want to display over your website over your web page so let me show you with the let's let i start with uh let's start with the heading tags uh heading tags are of six tags uh, which varies from h1 to h6 you can write anything in between the heading tag and you can see the output uh let me show you one let us be academy for this and you can see the output h1 tag has the highest font size property in all heading tag which varies from h1 to h6 i can show you with the same let me copy this uh, as you can see the changes in the font size when and you can use any of the font size as per your required code wherever you're coding you can find whichever heading tag suits your web page you can just select any of the heading tags as you, as you can see uh, while moving an increasing order of the h1 to h6 the size got decreasing Similarly, if many of you have seen this article, it's written whenever a heading, a heading was there and after a line space, you will find a paragraph, some line of text, which was written in the paragraph tag, that is no, which is known as P tag. So if you want to write a paragraph, just use a P tag and write whatever you want to write. So for this, uh, I'm going to write my, hello, my name is, 
and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to build a website so let's go and launch it with open server and see the output as you can see the my paragraph is here and written in a paragraph form and after that you can just yeah, many of you are thinking that uh, many of many of you have seen on a website that there is a lot of space between your paragraph and the heading text so if you want to give spaces in between the heading tag and the paragraph tag you can't do like this as you can see i have given uh, three of uh, five or six line spaces over here uh, let's see what the output is so as you can see now that there, there is no effect of the spaces that I have given in an IDE and now many of you are wondering about the, where the bloody space has gone so let me clear it out to you guys uh, our HTML is a hypertext markup language with legends which follow some rules yeah. so it has some rules which our web browser also follows so if you want to give a species in uh, your website then you have to use a specific tag you cannot just give the space that I have given uh, over here as you can see I have given a lot of line of spaces but it didn't affect it over there because the browser does not render it because the browser does not render it and you might be asking why because it is a hypertext markup language which follows some rule here I think you have caught my point right huh? Uh, if you now if you want to give some spaces in your line you can use this line break tag which is the PR tag let's see whether it worked or not uh, oh now you can see my website uh, here the space between the heading and the body tag and now many of you are thinking that uh, on a website you have, might have seen uh, text maybe highlighted so for the highlighted purpose, I, you, you can use the mark tag So and the bold purpose you can use the B tag and underline purpose you can use the um, U tag and for emphasis you can use emphasize tag So let me show you one by one Let me write the tag tags first so here the text are let wait for a second guys mm. so here that that I want to underline the build the website so I'm just cutting it out from here and place in between the U pack so let's see the output with the open so uh, now you can see that a speech my dad Feature my text get highlighted with a yellow background and the tutorial today's text get bold going text get emphasized and the build a website text got underlined in this way you can uh, create a web page i hope you guys like this tutorial and if you do so then just comment below and tell me whatever the problem you face while watching this tutorial huh? So that I can improve my improve in my future videos. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe.